morning everybody hey I'm Susan this is my channel Susan's Road Less Traveled and I'm super excited this morning that I'm meeting up with my mechanic to talk about Alice and an engine rebuild um, I've been waiting for a couple of weeks so I'm just really excited lots of traffic going by this morning but um, as is usual in the VW world I was cutting across town this morning and a little side road I think I've taken once or twice and I come up on this little uh, pier station and there's a VW bus in the parking lot so I pull over to take a picture and a young guy comes out and we introduce ourselves he's rebuilding uh, a Westie for his aunt and the same person that I'm meeting with this morning to do my engine rebuild is the one that did his engine rebuild so I got a good recommendation there, which I was really happy about. And just ready to start the first step in my plan uh, to go around the US next year um, in Alice. So thanks everybody. Everybody have a great day. God bless. Hey guys, it's Tuesday afternoon. I'm back after my meeting this morning. Had a shower and a nap because I was up so early today. And probably mentally exhausted, but um, I am super excited to say that I got um, the mechanic to agree to working with me. Um, I think he's probably as excited as I am, so I'm waiting for uh, timing of probably mid-December to put it in his shop so he can start taking Alice's engine apart while we wait for a ship to his shop um, for a January installation and that'll give him a couple of months if he even needs that uh, to put the new block in and build it out so and that'll be and meet my timing of March the 1st or April the 1st at the latest to get on the road depending on what 2021 looks like with everything going on and travel etc so um, I'm just, I sang zippity doo -dah all the way home, so I might try to find some music for that, but i um, super excited, um, just ready to start uh, ticking off my list of things that I have to do, supplies that I'm going to need, and, you know, just start planning that part of the trip, so, so let me give you a, a walk around, um, Alice from the inside because I don't think that I've done that before. So, all right, everybody. So this is my interior. Um, everything's original. Uh, not a lot of dings and dents and original carpet. Uh, all original interior seats, cushions. Obviously, car seat covers on them, and I do add a little extra padding in the seat um, pillows underneath here to add a little cushion um, the seats could probably use a redo on the packing inside them but um, I've taken the radio out because I'm going to upgrade the stereo uh, before I go on the road next year I do have I think I'd point it out in some another video but I do have um, speakers up front and then it's able to see. I do have some speakers behind each seat uh, that need to be upgraded as well. There's speaker wire running to the back that um, I need to get removed. So anyway, that'll be a next year project. But um, some dirty windows. Yikes. <laughs> Got to take care of that. Um, you know, the headlining and everything's all original wood. Uh, I still have the original... Um, pop top it does have some wear on the screen portions uh, where the zip windows are um, I don't really use them and open them the side ones are okay to open the front one I I've never opened so um, it looks kind of tattered I'm probably more inclined to just take the screening off uh, and get rid of what's hanging uh, as opposed to redoing this whole pop top right now so um, it works fine, so I'm not worried about that. Um, all the cabinetry is original. 
the only thing that I do have is some laminate issues. Um, as you can see on this top cabinet, you know, the laminate's coming up off of it. Um, a couple places where I lost uh, some laminate, and I think I have those pieces. Another piece over here that's taken off. Um, so, you know, um, the sink uh, motor still works. Uh, although I don't use it, I've never put water in the tank, so that would be a big disinfecting project to uh, get that tank out of there and clean that whole thing out. So I really just don't worry about that. Um, I do store some dish soap and sponges and things like that into this cabinet. So um, essentially, I've got bags and things like that in there. Uh, ultimately, I could probably take that tank out and just use that all as storage. Um, but all of my cabinets, uh, work pretty well. Um, first aid kits, lighters, plates, cups, baggies, foil, things like that in this one. Um, and in my, uh, drawer here, a little dish towel hanging. Um, probably have more silverware than some people have in their houses, but anyway, lots of silverware, cooking utensils, cutting board, can openers, deck of cards, things like that there. And then currently I'm using the what was the ice box, they called it as um, cups and plates and napkins. I'm going to probably use this as dry food storage um, because I'm going to probably do a Yeti cooler or something like that. Um, that might be a 12 volt recharge for cooling. Um, so I'm probably going to use this for like cereal and canned goods, oatmeal, um, things like that. Um, and then my little table still flips up so I can use that and I just keep, uh, motor oil and cleaning for breeze. Uh, like, um, all the carpeting's original. Um, I just have little outdoor mats that I use so that I can take them out and shake them out. Um, my table, you know, still operates, so that's good. I do carry around two canisters of gas. My um, gas gauge doesn't work, so I'm usually relegated to uh, calculating my mileage on a piece of paper and then watching it diminish before so I always make sure that I have extra gas. Um, underneath my seat I keep you know extension cords for shore power, kerosene, uh, funnel for putting my gas in. I've got a Coleman stove in there. Um, I do have a tent awning which I haven't tried yet. Um, some other auto stuff, uh, a broom to sweep out my Sweep out my thing, and I actually do have the original, um, the original hammock that hangs up in the front, uh, which I've never pulled out of there. So, um, all the curtains uh, were redone by me and my mother and my grandmother, probably about seven years ago. Um, what was in here was original. They stunk. They were kind of burlappy. So uh, that was a project, taking off all the moldings um, and railings and things like that and getting that rehung, but uh, they worked out pretty well. Um, you know, I do sleep down here on this bed, so I've got a extra foam mattress that I make out the full length into a full size. And I have two dogs, so they have a bed that goes next to me and they sleep out. I also have like one of those foam full. So I actually have like two really nice pads. I put my chairs back here, my extra fan. And then this little contraption is the uh, out vent through my driver's side window for the air conditioning unit that I bought. And I mentioned that in another video, but I have a 8,000 BTU AC unit that usually I set um, right in the middle of the two cabinets and kind of lock it in up towards the front seats. It is on wheels, but it stays pretty well. And then 
when I park, I bump it up onto the console piece, which I'll show you up front, and tilt it out and then vent it out my driver's window and plug in and knock some air into this uh, this unit, which is great. Um, currently back here in this cabinet, I just have more supplies. I've got a windshield uh, blocker for the entire windshield and side windows that blocks out the view from up front when I'm stopped and camping, dish rack and things like that to dry clothes, tools, and that type of thing. So um, I need some organization there because that'll probably end up being a uh, closet for a few things. And then typically when I'm stopped and camping, I will pop the top and stow all of my supplies up above. So any um, type of Rubbermaid container that I have that has my sheets and towels and things like that in it. Um, if I bring my guitar, my guitar case, a suitcase, that type of stuff, it just all gets put up top and uh, I stow it up there out of the way and out of out from under my feet so it works out pretty great so um, you know I'm gonna probably you know I usually put my coffee pot over here and I do have an instapot that I'm gonna bring with me um, oh and then down about this cabinet down here I just keep games um, there's pots and pans shoved back in there. Um, and so that's kind of where I keep more cooking utensils and things like that. And then the cabinet that's over here, this is kind of awkward, but, um, this little cabinet right here just has old, uh, parts and parts and pieces that were in the bus when I got it. And so I've got a citronella candle in there and um, different stuff that I've used as, as parts. So I haven't really put that cabinet to very much good use. And then up around the front seats, um, the previous, uh, owner built in this wood box. It's got cup holders on it, um, which is kind of nice. And I just put a drink inside there. Um, usually just put my drink right inside it and that works out great and then just underneath here is a nice little stowaway hidey pole uh, where I keep my manuals and paperwork and I've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter fan that I can plug in up at the front and blow on me if it's getting too hot and I need to turn a fan on so Anyway, that's the interior of my Alice as best as I can view it right now. And thanks for coming along today. And more to come. Peace out.